Devin! Let's go, Team Let's have it! That is going to be the okay, So, first, I'm going to do a bit of a math uh, So, okay, as you can tell, I don't have my Portland team. But Ooh. funny enough, the way I lost my Portland team is a very similar situation, which I am right now. First, let's do some backstory. So, I have braces. Anybody here have braces right now? Okay, so I have braces. After basically the entire middle school year, I have braces. And then I got them off in high school year. You know the retainer they put in there? Why well, I took that one off. So my dentist was like, okay, so you have a space in your teeth, and we need to fill that space back in. So I'm like, okay, what do you need? Well, you use rubber bands. The only problem was the rubber bands weren't coming out. You put them on your teeth, and they'll go all the way up and into the roots. And after a few years of this, it kind of takes its toll, and it ends up cutting off the circulation, and it ends up <coughs> starts damaging the bone. And so it ends up taking out the teeth. So I'm going to my sophomore year. My freshman year, my teeth are always loose. Like, I have to eat a very certain way after eating the side of my tooth. I have to, you know, like, watch what I drink. I drink something too cold, it goes right to the vein, and it feels really weird. And so my sophomore year, I did wrestling as a freshman. So I go into my sophomore year for I wrestling, and my teeth are a bit loose, but I'm like, okay, you don't get in the mouth that much during wrestling, so I should be good. First tournament. <laughs> this one guy, me and him are grappling for a position, going back and forth. He grabs the back of my head, slams it down on the mat, and I get a pop. I'm like, crap. And so I'm like, okay, get up, nothing happened. Okay, um, check it when you're done. Then I feel my, then I like touch my mouth and there's blood. So I'm like, ref, ref, blood. So I'm like, show the ref blood. I'm like, can I, I'm gonna get out real quick, get some napkins, ref's like, get out real quick, you got 30 seconds. All right, so I go to my side, I get a napkin, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pat down the blood. All right, I should be good. I go back in, happens again. I'm like, crap, I can't do this. So I'm like, ref, forfeit, forfeit. And so the guy's like, he's excited, he just won his first match. And so I go to my coach, Coach Araka, PE coach. I was like, Coach, um, I forfeited the mat. He was like, what? I said, like, yeah, I forfeited the mat. He's looking at me because I'm just in varsity, so I got to make a good impression on this guy. And he's looking at me like I'm the dumbest, like I'm from Mars, like I'm the dumbest kid in the world because I just forfeited the mat, which I was a head by. And so I go into the bathroom. My grandfather follows me and he follows my wrestling. I go into the bathroom, and I look, and that, I can see like straight to the bones of all my teeth. So long story short, the, the front tooth, they're so loose, I could like, I was like, I was like, you know when you like Morse code, like tap, tap, tap? Well, I did that with my B2 teeth, and I could tap, tap, tap. It's, it's fun for a while, but then it kind of gets old after a while. And so finally my teeth are a bit loose, but then also involved in speech and debate, Mr. Hall, my coach, I think it's way Mr. Hall. Mr. Hall! And so, I'm Mr. Hall. In speech and debate, yeah. you, you know, you speak, you articulate, you talk a lot. But I'm in um, improv, which is basically this to tell a story. So I'm in improv, and when I'm talking, I feel something Something breaks, something breaks. My last um, retainer, my last brace, which was my metal bracket, which is hanging Did by you my right? yes. actually broke. And so yeah. I'm doing this one speech, my judge is right there, <laughs> and I feel kind of running short, so I kind of wrap up the story. I'm like, okay, I gotta go. Tevin so I go into the bathroom, I walk out, it's a totally different high school. Go into the bathroom. So, because I told the dentist about my new teeth, so he's scheduled to pull them out a week later. But I'm like, I can't talk and do the speech right now because every time I exhale air, my teeth go like a dual 180. So I can't do this. So I'm, I'm looking at the bathroom here. I'm like, okay, we're at the tournament. We got one more round to the finals. The finals are basically great and prompted. So I just look at the mirror. Bang, I take out the front tooth. Like they're coming up anyway. I don't need them distracted. So I literally take out my front two teeth and they're in my closet right now. And I still have my two side tooth. And so funny enough, well, I, I break into the final round for impromptu. And impromptu is basically tell a story. And so I'm in this portable with a bunch of other kids that are really smart and really well dressed. And in impromptu, you pull a card and like pull out something. Like it could be um, like what's your favorite poem, or like a story to tell. And they pull out a theme that you must go off of. And so these kids are getting these themes, and I go up and I get my theme. My theme was tell a story about the day in your life. Tell a story of something that happened in your life. And so I go back to my desk and I'm like, what should I say? I'm like, I should tell a story about the day I lost my teeth in a debate round. And so I go to the story and I end up telling the very story of what happened that day and how I lost my teeth. And so, long story short, I can barely articulate because it just came out. So like I'm like seven, like boo boo something. <laughs> so I'm barely talking. And like and so like the kids love it. They love it. I go off. I'm like okay, I'm done. <coughs> so I sit back down. Like okay, I've been a complete idiot on myself. I hope I broke into the final. <coughs> well, long story short, I got fifth place out of the final. So I'm like okay, lose two teeth to get fifth place. I guess that's an even deal. But so long story short, wrap up. Um, I get choked out of it. But I guess it kind of goes to honestly. The thing I learned out of this is that um. 
looks don't really matter. Your looks don't make who you are. It's kind of it's kind of corny, but it's kind of what the intel that counts. And it's really interesting to think that um, you can lose something that you think is the end of the world and it's going to be the end of your existence, but honestly, it's not that bad. And heck, you get to restore it until after. Thank you. <laughs>